10 TV shows that are seriously dark right from the very beginning. Some of the scariest TV shows of all time establish their dark tone from the very first episode. This might, and often does, include one or more deaths in the pilot, to prove that real danger exists in the setting. However, there are other ways to immediately convey a serious atmosphere, including utilizing the tried and true conventions of the genre, or leveraging what the audience already knows about previously established characters. Game of Thrones famously advertised itself as being the show where anyone can die, even the main characters. While this may not be strictly proven until the season 1 finale, the first episode already puts characters the audience might have believed were untouchable in harm's way. Cold-blooded actions and horrifically shocking moments are used throughout TV to introduce a certain kind of story, within the genres of dystopia, historical drama, and horror. The new historical drama miniseries Shogun skillfully depicts the politics of feudal Japan, focusing on the ambitious Lord Yoshi Toranaga allying with John Blackthorne, the sole escapee of a European Protestant crew taken prisoner. The first episode's brutal deaths already serve as an entry to a serious TV show, but the overall muted aesthetics and somber tone also convey what is at stake. Anjin introduces the extremes of this time and place, so the audience knows what the characters are risking with each new move. The title says it all, 12-year-old Will is taken by a shadowy monster that the audience at that point knows nothing about, while his family and friends only know that he has disappeared without a trace. Chapter 1, The Vanishing of Will Byers introduces a classic horror tone meshed with the ragtag gang's adventure, which everything up to Stranger Things Season 4's ending upholds. The pilot thrives on jump scares and promises more threats lurking in the dark. It is also inferable that Eleven is fleeing imprisonment, which is even more unsettling than if it were directly stated. The long-running zombie apocalypse series opens with tension derived from dramatic irony because, for a moment, Grimes does not know about the dangerous setting he is walking into, but the audience certainly does. The Walking Dead does not ease into things by having the first walker shown be a wandering young girl, and the second the grotesque animated upper half of a human corpse. Days Gone By relies on some established tropes like a character waking up in an unfamiliar environment and ending on the cliffhanger of them being in mortal peril, but it effectively shows the unforgiving landscape. Marianne dives right into its nightmare-inducing horror scenarios, with instances of possession taking place in the first episode. The short-lived French horror series follows a best-selling author who is haunted by the events and characters of her own books, namely the witch Marianne. The tone is comparable to some of the best horror movies of all time, with the effect of the first episode, and the rest of the series, being deeply disturbing. The unseen villain who still has a sense of rhyme and reason is very Stephen King-esque. 